Mystery Solved – Why Cockroaches Are Impossible to Kill Cockroaches are called pests for obvious reasons. You come face to face with these little monsters on a daily basis. Flying from wall to wall, lounging on your sink, crawling on your countertop, or chilling on your headboard while you're asleep. What's most frustrating is they're hard to kill no matter how many bug sprays and swatters you've brought in and attempt to annihilate them. Those reddish-brown insects will only wiggle and fly themselves to freedom, taunting you over and over again. Which brings us to a mind-boggling, hair-pulling, teeth-gnawing question. Why are cockroaches so hard to kill? Brightsiders, you're not alone in this predicament. We're all in this together. Today, we'll find out the reason behind the indestructibility of cockroaches and other insects. Before we reveal the answer to this mystery, be sure to click the subscribe button and turn on the little notification bell. Now you'll be the first to see all the fun and interesting updates that arrive daily on the Bright Side of Life. First, let's get to know the enemy. In a rough estimate, there are approximately 4,500 species of roaches in the world, and 30 of them are considered pests. The World Health Organization says that the most notorious are the American, German, Oriental, Australian, and brown-banded cockroaches. Of course, as long as a bug has a red-brown oval-shaped body with six legs and two antennae, you probably won't make an exception. It's automatically on your watch list. The roach that you mostly face off with is the Paraplanita americana, also known as the American cockroach. Contrary to its name, it's not native to the United States. Their original breeding ground can be found in Africa, and they hitchhiked on boats around the year 1625 to spread terror in the U.S. and all over the world. What ambitious pesky insects! Another thing these roaches are proud of is their amazing genes, which are the key to their survival in any environment. They wouldn't have survived for more than 320 million years if not for their genes. Yes, you're dealing with an insect that lived alongside dinosaurs. Based on a study that was published in Nature Communications, cockroaches have one of the largest genome sequences of all insects. It's almost the same number as human genes, about 20,000. The Genome News Network says that genome sequencing helps to decode how genes work together to direct the growth, development, and maintenance of an entire organism. So, what's in their genes? There are 154 olfactory receptors, which is twice as many as any other insect. Hmm, it's no wonder it can easily zero in on the tiniest crumb on the floor. This creepy crawly also has 522 gustatory, or taste, receptors. And this means one thing. It isn't a picky eater. If proper food isn't available, it will target non-living things like cardboard, book bindings, and ceiling boards with starch. This is where it gets gross and creepy. It can eat its own cast-off skin and even its dead and crippled comrades. It does these icky things all in the name of survival. The study also found that there are special enzymes that help this bug to escape from and survive an onslaught of pesticide sprays. But we're not done yet. The roach has an unbelievably strong immune system that can withstand harmful microbes and fungi. Thus, even the most unsanitary and uninhabitable environment can become a home sweet home for them. What about if you cut their heads off? Well, according to an article in Scientific American, it can seal off its head so that it doesn't bleed out. Since it doesn't have a mouth or nose, it can breathe through its spiracles, the tiny holes in each segment of the body. The roach's brain doesn't control its breathing. Instead, it sucks in air through its trachea, which is connected to its spiracles. This insect can live for weeks because it's cold-blooded, and the antenna of its decapitated head can still wave and say hello to you for several hours. This means that the lonely head is somehow alive. Scientists believe that if you give it nutrients and put it in a freezer, it can last longer. What in the world? In case you were thinking of amputating its limbs, it's useless because its genes contain regenerative properties. These insane facts reveal why cockroaches are so hard to kill. 
they can thrive in extreme situations like decapitation, disease, hunger, and your sly ways of trying to kill it. To be fair, let's not put the spotlight just on this common pest. Here are some other insects that are difficult to get rid of. Number 1. Mountain Stone Weta As of now, scientists haven't successfully revived a cryogenic human patient. Only a few people have signed up, like this 14-year-old British girl who died from cancer. But we still need to see if these cryopreserved people can be reanimated in the future. Perhaps scientists need a few tips from a mountain stone weta to carry out this effectively. The mountain stone weta is from New Zealand, more specifically, the Southern Alps. This grasshopper-like insect was already roaming the earth during the prehistoric era, just like cockroaches. The nocturnal flightless bug contains special proteins, which prevent ice forming in its cells. The mountain stone weta undergoes diapause, insect hibernation. It freezes itself during the winter using the antifreeze in its blood, and it thaws out when spring arrives. Now we know how this insect survived the ice age. Number 2. Bed Bugs Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite is a cute yet serious warning for children and adults alike. These bloodsuckers can give you the most annoying red itch of your life. In research published in Nature Communications, scientists finally figured out why this bug is so difficult to get rid of. First off, they're zombies in real life, or actual living fossils. In fact, they look exactly the same even after 200,000 years. However, the bad news is that they continue to evolve for the sake of survival. The bed bug gene, yes, genes again, contains enzymes and proteins that can fight off chemicals from pesticides. It doesn't only contain purely bed bug genes, but also genes from other organisms like the parasitic bacteria Wolbachia. This helps a bed bug to strengthen its immune system. Moreover, its body can handle liquid for example, blood, that is 200% its size. Number 3. House Fly These tiny invaders flood your house in the summer and land wherever they please, especially on top of your homemade pie. The house fly occupies almost 90% of human habitations. Its origins lie in Central Asia, and it carries over 100 serious pathogens like cholera, typhoid, and tuberculosis. They are one of the sleekest insects, and no amount of swatting could kill them off easily. Thanks, but no thanks to their superior visual ability, they can evade our shooing techniques with finesse. This sleazy insect has up to 6,000 amatidia, or mini lenses. So no matter how fast you are to swat it, this insect can see your movement in slow motion, which gives it ample opportunity to plan a graceful escape. Number 4. Fire Ants Aren't ants, in general, easy to kill? Yes, all you have to do is eliminate their queen to bring down their colony. However, fire ants have a special killing condition to successfully prevent this from happening. Fire ants are social creatures, most especially their queens. Fire ant queens can unite with other queens to create a new colony altogether. Yup, it's not one, but multiple queens in a single colony. In scientific terms, this is called polygyne. Because of the fire ant's social chromosome, the GP9, they are happy to live with other colonies, and this makes them harder to kill because you have to find and take down every single queen. The more queens there are, the more formidable it gets. Which of the insects in this video scared you the most? Don't be shy, tell us in the comments! And don't forget to click the like button and share this with your friends. Always stay tuned and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life!